Just why is Indian Superman dancing with Indian Spider Woman? Fear not, it's all about to be explained. Well, as best we can. G'day, I'm Mark Fennell and welcome to Bollywood for Beginners. And look, there is so much to like about Bollywood. The glamour, the romance, the facial hair, but above all, the flagrant disregard for copyright. Yes, we are talking about Bolly Cats, Bollywood copycats. Over the years, Bollywood has built up a solid rep for ripping off plots, characters, even poster designs of popular movies. And the results are usually pretty spectacular. Now, easily one of the most shameless Bollywood ripoffs would have to be Chachi420, also known as the Hindi Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay, so gird thyself, because this is amazing, right? Instead of Robin Williams as a struggling actor who poses as a female nanny so that his ex-wife will hire him to look after their kids, you have Kamal Hassan, who's a struggling choreographer who poses as a female nanny so that his ex-wife will hire him to look after their kids. It's actually kind of touching to think that despite race, nationality and religion, there are some things that bind us all together, including the fact that a man dressed up as a woman is hilarious. <laughs> Next, if you've never seen Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs uh, about men in suits to heist gone wrong and deeply inappropriate ways to detach somebody's ear, you should. It's a great film, great dialogue, killer scares, amazing soundtrack. But wouldn't it have been better if it was a musical set in a strip club? <laughs> Damn straight it would. That's the lesson learned from the excellent 2002 ripoff Giante, a movie that lifts the characters from the Reservoir Dogs, the plot from the usual suspects, and fills whatever gaps are left with slow motion walking. And then there's Daria Dill, a family drama set in high stakes world of tax evasion where apparently the two leads at a certain point turn into superheroes armed with the power of frenetic dance. That said, part of the fun of these movies is watching how they've mashed together different styles and genres. Just take Awara Pagal Divana. At first, a shot for scandalous shot plagiarism from The Matrix. Send back up commandos! Send back up commandos! Oh, you hate it then proceeds to lift the entire story of the Bruce Willis Matthew Perry comedy, The Whole Nine Yards. <laughs> but with dance sequences. Now, call me crazy, but I actually think it's a slightly better film for it. The ludicrousness of the plot is somehow mitigated by all the singing and high wire action. Even Fight Club, yes, the iconic, cynical, brilliant David Fincher film Fight Club has a bolly cat of sorts, only in this version, Fight Club, is far more elite. And more hardcore too. I mean, what was the first rule of American Fight Club? You do not talk about Fight Club. But the first rule of Bollywood Fight Club? There's no rule. Which may explain how this happened. But as ridiculous as some of these films are, there is an undeniable creativity in the way the Indian film industry goes about taking these big budget Western films and Bollywoodizing them. And personally, I can't wait for the moment when Hollywood just totally runs out of ideas and has to look to Bollywood to remake their films. Bolly Cat. Reinvigorating or redundant? Either way, it is just another small chapter in the fascinating world of Bollywood.